Hey guys, this is Jam of Jamaline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna take a closer look at these babies, the Kingston M.2 SSD. These are the KC2500 and they are pretty good. I mean, they are uh, priced fairly. We got a really nice hardware inside this one. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna benchmark it today and uh, we got here the two variants. We got here the 500 gig and also the one terabyte version so yes we will benchmark uh, both of them we're gonna check it out on crystal disk mark and everything all right so the kc2500 is a great upgrade for some people who are still using their sshd or hdd because this one will definitely have an improvement when it comes to ssd speeds first let's talk about what's inside these ssds the Kingston KC2500 M.2 NVMe SSD comes with the latest Gen 3 by 4 controller and a 96 layer 3D TLC NAND and it can go up to 3500 MB per second for the right read speed and 2500 MB per second for the right speed. So that's 4500 gig variant but if you're going for the bigger variant which is the one terabyte this one can go up to 3500 mb per second for the read speed and 2900 for the write speed this one also comes with a full security suite which means that your data is protected on the kingston kc2500 because there's an included encryption on this one so how do you do that? Actually, there's an application that you can download on their website for these SSDs. And basically, the application will give you everything that you need on the KC2500 SSD. Now, let's go to the benchmarks. But before we go down to that, let's talk about the hardware that we're going to use for this one. So for the KC2500 SSD, we're going to use a uh, Asus Tough X570 board along with a Ryzen 3600 CPU in it. So we're gonna compare it with some of my um, HDD or an SSD inside this one. So yes, it isn't that fast, but I'm pretty sure that once I have the KC2500 in my PC, I'm pretty sure that the boot times for my Windows and for some of my applications and games will definitely improve. So what are we waiting for? Let's check out these babies and let's benchmark them. So we're gonna open first the one terabyte variant of the Kingston KC2500 SSD. As you can see here, it's 45 times faster than a 7200 RPM HDD. Yes, that is a really big upgrade if you're coming from a hard disk. So there's not much to see inside the uh, SSD, but we got here a key for the Acronis TrueImage HD software. So we got here the activation key. So yes, I'm not gonna show you the key, but yeah, there's an included software for this one. And of course, we got here the SSD, which is really tiny. So time to plug it in into our PC. So in our benchmark, we've used the Crystal Disk Mark and we can see that the Patriot Burst SATA 3 960GB SSD is the slowest of them all. So take note, this one is actually an, an SSD already. It's a SATA SSD and we got here a uh, read speed of 446 and the uh, write speed is at 478. That's MB per second. Okay, so going to the faster one, which is the WD Black SN750, we're getting here a 30 271 or 3271 MB per second for the read speed and 2603 for the write speed. So this one is actually slower than the KC2500 that we are reviewing right now. As you can see here in the 500 gigs and the one terabyte, the speeds are almost the same when it comes to sa read speed. It's 3000 around 3500. Uh, MB per second while the Kingston KC2500 uh, write speed on uh, 500 gig is 2544 while on the Kingston KC2500 one terabyte we're getting here a faster 2821 or 2821 write speed like I've mentioned earlier so earlier I mentioned that the write speed is actually faster on the one terabyte compared to the 500 gigs variant as for the other benchmark, we've seen also here that 
the Patriot burst SATA SSD is lagging compared to the competition. We got here a faster speed on the KC2500 500GB SSD, but it's a little bit slower compared to the WD Black that we're getting in here. It's not really that uh, big when it comes to the difference uh, when it comes to speeds but the uh, one terabyte has shown us that uh, the Ato KC 2500 one terabyte is really fast compared to the ones that we're comparing it right now as for the software this one is pretty easy to use it's user friendly and you can do a lot of things with the software including the encryption of the drive so uh, i believe uh, not all of you would use that software but it's really nice to have that on the kingston kc 2500 so you've seen how the kc 2500 from kingston work and uh, we're really happy with the results that we got it's fast it's good and we got here a reliable software that uh, it comes with encryption so this one is great for gamers alike and also for business uh, owners why gamers well we got here a really fast ssd so your booting time for your windows notebook or your windows desktop will be faster than ever okay you can also load games faster in here as we got here faster read and write speeds but for the business owners you would be happy that there's encryption on this one so your data and files are protected as for the pricing right now as of this recording it's available at lazada at the official kingston store for the kc 2500 500 gig you can get it up for 6999 and for the one terabyte you can get it for 11499 i believe the price is reasonable considering that we're getting a lot of features in here including a fast uh, read and write speeds on the KC2500. So I guess that's it for our review of the Kingston KC2500 M.2 NVMe SSD. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here on my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jamaline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in our next video.